I've got some free stuff here to show everybody. First here is the uh, an old Gateway NLX desktop here. It's an E4400. It's an uh, NLX mid-tower. Uh, 550 megahertz Pentium 3. Works just fine. And this thing is a tank. <laughs> it is just built like solid. This could even have been used as a, a server or uh, back in its day. Um, it's got 250 megs of RAM in it, but the problem is it's the uh, very rare uh, memory called Rambus by I think uh, Samsung made it or used to make it or I don't even know if they still make it it's extremely rare and it just costs a lot of money and the only really the only upgrade I did on this right now is I put in a CDRW drive now the next one here is a gateway E3400 it's an NLX mini desktop um, not really meaning small form factor, but just a average size desktop here. And this I did a lot of upgrades on already. If I can get the case open on this thing with one hand. There we go. That's a 1.10 gigahertz Pentium 3 processor. At first I thought it was a lie when I saw it in the BIOS, say 1.10 gigahertz, but then I popped off the heatsink, and sure enough, it said 1100 megahertz on it, so it, it is indeed correct. Um, I also put 512 megs of RAM in, which I believe is maxed out in two DIMMs here. Um, it has an ATI uh, Graphics Rage Pro. 16 megabyte video card. I added a USB 2.0 card because it has onboard USB, but it's still only uh, original USB 1.0 or 1.1, which is too slow to hook up anything like a camcorder or um, a memory sticker. And I also added add up. Um, it also it has onboard sound, but it's not really that great. It's uh, Intel integrated audio, so I just pulled out my Creative Sound Blaster from my old Dell that I have, and I just popped it in here. That's I believe the original hard drive to it. You just pull off this ring here, and it hard drive pops right out. It's a Maxter. Fireball, which are supposedly notorious for crashing a lot, but this one seems to be working fine. Um, I also had to add a CD-ROM drive because this one did not come with one. Um, it already had the floppy drive built in. And if I didn't know any better, I'd say that this motherboard is brand spanking new. It just, I mean, it was dusty when I first got this thing, but it's just immaculate. It looks brand new, like it was just manufactured. And this computer runs Windows XP flawlessly. I already have this running uh, XP and a couple of programs installed on the hard drive, which I'll make a separate video of. I also had to replace the CMOS battery, because every time I... Uh, started the computer up it would say bad CMOS uh, please check system and go to setup so it was obviously dead because it wasn't holding the uh, the date and time anymore and it kept resetting the the system settings so you can see a couple of chips in here for the uh, the uh, integrated audio it also has integrated video too in place of the uh, of this video card which is probably not very good and over there you could see the BIOS chip it says AMI BIOS also known as American Mega 
Megatrends Incorporated. Um, and that's uh, basically it. The computer is, like a lot of these, it's very noisy when turned on because of all the fans in it. It's got one fan, big fan over there for uh, uh, an intake for air and the, the uh, regular CPU fan. So, on the back here, There's the uh, the cards that I put in. This is my network card. Surprisingly, it doesn't have onboard network, which I was surprised. That's the integrated sound. The two USB ports built in. PS2 keyboard and mouse. Two serial ports, parallel printer port, and that's the integrated uh, video, uh, which I had to put a plug on. And that's basically it for this little gateway here. This would be good to have as like a a backup or secondary computer because it's uh, still pretty powerful to do uh, some useful things such as YouTube with its um, fast 1.10 gigahertz processor. So that's really, it's even even faster than my 2.80 gigahertz Dell I have, which is just a total slug XP. I also have a matching monitor over there that, um, that works fine with this. I also have an, a gateway mouse, too. I don't have a gateway keyboard, but I do have this old school Dell keyboard here, which is excellent. I mean, it's very excellent to type on. It's the the old-fashioned clicky keyboard, unlike newer keyboards, which are just just terrible to type on. They're so mushy, especially laptop keyboards, which I just can't stand when typing up school papers or gotten letters and whatever else I have to type up. So. Just gonna put this all back together and I'll make a separate video with uh, this running. This uh, old gateway here actually ran runs Windows 2000 because I'm 550 megahertz processor really it will run XP marginally but not as fast as a 1.10 gigahertz, obviously. Especially with only this having 256 megs of RAM is really not enough for XP. And th this, the processor in here is maybe a Pentium 3, but it's a different socket than that one, so I can't upgrade the processor because I have two other Pentium 3s that are um, an 866 and a 933, but the socket in this is not the same so I have to leave in that processor so there you go that's uh, some uh, some free stuff you know can't beat this for free <laughs>